Want ik sprak vlak voor deze uitzending met politiek analist Janna, Janis Koutsomitis in Griekenland. En ik vroeg hem of hij verwacht dat de Grieken vanavond voor die belasting- en pensioenhervormingen zullen stemmen. Uh, we expect that uh, the bill that uh, is being submitted by the government will pass uh, with a thin majority. Uh, I don't expect uh, that uh, the government will have a problem passing uh, this uh, uh, reform uh, in the parliament. The, the members of the governing coalition, uh, the, the MPs, are ready to vote for this uh, uh, reform because it's uh, on uh, the track that uh, the Greek government has taken since last summer in uh, joining the, the bailout agreement with the European uh, partners. So uh, I think it, uh, it will pass with uh, the thin majority and it will be a good sign for uh, tomorrow's uh, Eurogroup meeting to show to the Eurozone ministers that Greece is uh, ready to join and uh, keep on track the, the austerity program. What's at stake for Mr Tsipras? Mr. Tsipras now is a very delicate situation. Uh, before the last elections in, in autumn, he promised uh, to the voters that uh, he would find ways to offset the harsh austerity that the bailout program is, uh, uh, has to implement in, in uh, the Greek people. So right now he's, he's implementing, he's front-loading all the austerity in the first year. Uh, but we haven't seen him come up with a sufficient program how he will offset all this austerity. So uh, people feel upset right now because they only see the, the harsh part of the program. They haven't seen a recovery of the economy yet. They haven't seen a recovery of the banks. So all this have to come very soon in the next few months so that the Greek economy recovers, new jobs are created and people become more confident in uh, the economy again. People are upset, as you say. Um, today, it was the third day of a general strike against those uh, tax and pension reforms. How would you describe uh, the situation, the atmosphere in, uh, in Athens? Well, the uh, situation in Athens uh, is, uh, is not similar to what we have seen in previous years when the harsh austerity measures were uh, passed in uh, the parliament. There Nevertheless, were clashes. Uh, people there were are clashes tonight. There were, yes, there were clashes tonight, but uh, I consider those clashes uh, uh, some of the same uh, scenes we've seen uh, usually between uh, clashes between our anarchists and the police. Uh, there were no massive clashes between protesters and the police. So uh, what we see right now is uh, the middle class are really hit by this uh, new austerity, not the lower class or the workers. So the, the lawyers, the, the re uh, freelancers are hit hard by this new uh, pension reform. And uh, these are uh, new uh, people who will uh, try uh, fight hard to make a living in the next few years. So it's a new kind of uh, protest right now from a middle class rather than lower income people. So you are not afraid of a, a summer crisis as in 2015 uh, will be repeated in 2016? Well, uh, w w we can't uh, be sure, but all the indications show that there will eventually be an agreement between the Eurozone and uh, the International uh, Monetary Fund regarding the Greek program. Uh, what is being voted tonight is the biggest part of the, of the bailout agreement, the, the austerity part, which is the harshest part. And uh, it would be very not logical to break the whole agreement over contingency measures that uh, the Greek government should take in the next uh, few years if the program does not go well. So uh, this is the, the big bulk of the big problematic uh, austerity measures that is voted tonight. And logically, there will be an agreement uh, in the, not tomorrow's Eurogroup, maybe in the next meeting on uh, May 24, or in the beginning of June, the latest. Janis Koutsoumitis, thank you very much for this interview. Thank you. You're welcome.